Hi, so today I wanted to show you a quick video about a common fault that happens on PlayStation 2 Slim models. And here I have an example PlayStation 2. Uh, let's check the model number. So this is model SCPH70000. It's seemingly in a great condition, however, there is a hidden problem here that I wasn't aware of. And so, if you take a look under the disk tray, Basically, over time, this ribbon cable uh, slowly changes its position. You can see here, when, when I'm moving the lens, the cable is also moving slightly upwards. But it gets worse if the height of that cable is higher than the lens. And if you look closely, this happens because at the end of the cable, which is the also the connector of the cable, there is this plastic support tab that you don't see very well but it's under the cable right now and uh, over time it just comes more and more loose I think it's it's glued to it but so when it's not held by that plastic tab anymore uh, the cable slowly rises higher and uh, because there's nothing holding it down in there when it rises high enough then it becomes a problem and let me show you what happened when I played a disc on this machine I got these terrible circular scratches because uh, the ribbon cable was touching the disc as it was spinning and I had no idea if I remember correctly it wasn't even making any strange noises and unfortunately, in order to fix this, you have to disassemble the whole case. You can't fix it just by accessing this cable from this small opening, because it's connected to the lens at the bottom of it, and it's impossible to safely disconnect the cable, you know, and reconnect it back. And I didn't just discover it on that one Japanese model, I also have this European PAL version, and uh, this one is... SCPH 77004 and uh, the same exact problem happened here I just didn't know it at the time so uh, I unfortunately learned the hard way here I also tried to fix it I'm gonna take this one apart and show you so first of all I took this top case off and um, the second thing you need to take off is this disc assembly, disc tray assembly and uh, it's held in my case by um, three screws you will also need to disconnect all these other ribbon cables that are visible here so this blue one it just comes out by pulling there's no clip used in the connector so you just need to grab it somehow and pull it out carefully my hands are too slippery so I'm just gonna use pliers like this that's probably not the best way to do it this one is also disconnected by pulling let's see if we can succeed like so okay let's see how it looks right now you have to kind of carefully flip it oh wait I forgot you have to move this lens all the way to the other end and uh, and you kind of just carefully flip it over like this so here's the lens connector and uh, so this one opens um, and, uh, and here I got the cable disconnected now so here if you want to see up close the cause of this malfunction so the white tab it simply comes off uh, due to old glue failing and uh, it's not holding the cable anymore it should be glued 
it should be snug with the cable and uh, so that's what you need to fix if you have this issue just a small piece of tape should hold it together and also sometimes you can check if it's too loose in here it's also glued to the metal so it's possible that if it comes apart at this root in here then it might also be um, going in the way of the disc so yeah just remember to check the position of this cable before you insert any discs into the system and start laying it then it turns out that your discs are getting damaged without you even knowing about it okay so now I've put a new tape on it and you can see it's already much better it's holding this um, plastic piece with the cable a lot better than before they are now more attached to each other and there's no gap when I'm moving the cable like so so this is my solution to it and be careful not to put tape over these uh, copper contacts that you can see here uh, the tape has to go below them so you just kind of wrap it wrap the cable around on both sides and make sure you cover the white plastic as well so now you can see when I'm moving the lens the height of the cable never exceeds the height of the lens so this can be considered a successful fix.